Come make a turkey with me. This is Lettucey. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to roast a 12 pound turkey. I got one in my blessing box from the food pantry this past week. And my kid really wanted it for dinner tonight. So we're going to prep it and put it in the oven and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely done and on my plate as well as on the roasting pan all golden brown. My turkey comes out juicy all the way to the white meat. Perfect every time. Uh, I really am proud of that. I've had only one bad year. It's because the oven broke but that was a long time ago. If you are new here thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. Thank you for giving me a chance. Thank you for all the views, the likes, and the dislikes. Everyone's support means a lot to me. We are creeping up to 540 subscribers on our way to 600. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and like this video, so smash that like button. Please click on that subscribe board down below. Tap on that bell. And in my description box below, I will include my food pantry haul with over 1,000 views. It's one of my most popular videos. I'm going to turn the camera around, and we're going to get started. I am roasting a turkey. I'm going to cut my onion. Checking out these knives that David got. He got a whole set of them. I seem to be okay so far. I'm going to take the first couple of peels off. And we're going to cut the onion directly in half and open up the turkey. And I just cut it like this. And I have my roasting pan. I'll put it in front of the camera as soon as the celery is cut. Take out the celery. I keep celery in paper towels so they last a long time. I'm only going to use a couple with the turkey because I'll be doing turkey noodle soup tomorrow with the leftover turkey or maybe even a turkey pot pie. I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to save some of the celery for tomorrow. Homemade mashed potatoes, stuffing, I got a baguette, I got it for turkey from my food pantry haul, I wanted to have a big dinner today. Put all the celery in the bottom of the pan. This is what the bottom of my pan looks like so far. I'm going to rest the turkey on it. We're going to give it a nice butter brine with salt, pepper, and garlic. Put some oil on it and some water at the bottom. And then we baste it and rotate it every half hour in the oven. At the sink. And we're going to open up this turkey I got. And get it onto the roasting pan. I like to rinse them and take all the insides out of it which could be difficult to do. We made sure we thawed it. Just gonna stick your hand inside the turkey and take everything out. hard to remove from the turkey at times. There we go. Cut this 
thing because it doesn't want to break off like it usually does. There we go. And then I got a little more in here, it seems like. Perfect. And then the completely out. And make sure there's nothing left in the back side. Run the water all the way through. And give it a good rinse. This is a 12 pounder. Slightly on the heavy side. I make nice sandwiches and a big pot of soup or a pot pie. Let's get the turkey on to the roasting pond. Make sure it's completely drained. I always get confused, especially if there's not a pop-up timer. There we go. That looks perfect. Let's go ahead and add some black pepper and garlic. I'm consistent, never opening it correctly on the right side there. Don't cook with salt hardly ever, unless it's to season the pans. Just gonna put a teaspoon. Grab some butter. I'm going to make some butter pats and we're going to place it all over the bird. A little thicker than that. Let's get it bigger there. About a half an inch. I'm going to use most of the stick here. Then I pour a little bit of oil on the top. My turkeys always come out golden brown and juicy white meat as well as the dark meat. I started making turkeys when I was 16. My grandmother showed me how and my mom and aunt. The entire stick of butter. Using the top of the oil, pour some in, and you're going to drizzle oil all over the bird. Or you can just eyeball it. And we're going to add about a half a cup of water at the bottom of the pan.
Now my husband said to put this in the oven at 130, which I kind of estimated we should. And I think it's for 325 degrees you preheat it to until it's done. You're gonna hear the stand mixer in the background. Let's take a peek at my turkey here. Oh goodness, look how beautiful it is. Golden brown, perfect. The turkey's out of the oven and look how beautiful it turned out. Nice and golden brown. We're gonna carve it and go to the dinner table with all the sides. And here's what it looks like on my plate. Bon Appetit. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning what I do to prep a turkey, taking it out of the package, rinsing it and prepping it with putting onions and celery down at the bottom, salt and pepper and butter pats, with everything else with how I prepped the 12 pound turkey and the process of putting it into the oven and then how I rotate it every 30 minutes and baste it. It comes out awesome. You saw the results. Thank you for everyone's support, all the likes, dislikes, and views. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and like this video. Don't forget to click on that subscribe bird down below. Tap on that bell so you'll be notified.